Hey there, welcome to Doll Motion. Now with guest voiceover. This is the first spooky Halloween special. Let's begin with the Angel of Death. The embodiment of death has many faces in different cultures. But I think the most famous must be the skeleton in a black robe wearing a scythe. It is mostly just called Death, Angel of Death or the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper is a character used often in TV shows and films. In different appearances it is always a creature that can take lives. Let's make one ourselves! The most obvious choice was to use a Skalita doll. I first pop off her head by running her under hot water. Then I start cutting off her orange and black hair. She won't be getting a reroute because I have different plans for her. I then go in with tweezers and scrape the remaining hair plugs and glue out of her head. Kinda messy. I think I had different plans for her first, like a Spanish Day of the Dead themed doll. Oh well, maybe another time with another Skeleta. I clean the face with a nail polish remover containing acetone and wash her face after with warm soapy water. I'm going to make a huge modification to her body. I want her to have slightly longer limbs for a creepy look. Luckily the plastic was easy to cut through. Aw, she's all broken up. Then I connect everything with wire. To be sure it holds better, I glue everything with a two-part epoxy glue. Time for epoxy clay! To work with epoxy clay, you'll be needing gloves, a mask and protective glasses. Combining the two parts releases a chemical reaction, so protect yourself while mixing part A and B. The clay will be less toxic when mixed. Still, I advise you to open a window. First, I close the reroute holes to make a smooth looking skull. I also give her a detailed spinal cord and attach some wires that will be her future wings. When our clay is all dry, I'm going to cover her with black ink. You must be thinking, what are you doing? Well, to make the skeleton have an older look, I'll first have to make a black layer. After that, I put on layers of cream white acrylic paint. I also paint the face for future depth. Just painting layers and layers. When the paint is dry, I spray the doll with a few layers of Mr. Super Clear and begin sketching in her face with a pencil. Time for some more acrylic paint! I color in her black eyes, her open mouth and nose. Then I go back and forth with black and white paint to get a 3D effect by building up paint. some cracks in her skull and of course her teeth.
some shades with pastels. Last finishing touches and her face up is all done. Again, I spray her face and body with a few layers of Mr. Super Clear. I give her some shine in her eyes and between her teeth. Let's continue with her black wings. I bought about 150 black feathers and cut every one of them to get a tiny looking feather. I shaped the wires on her back into wings and covered it with a stretchy fabric. When done, I covered the wings with a stroke of fabric glue and started covering the wings with feathers. Starting with big feathers and smaller feathers afterwards. Continue doing this until the wings are filled with feathers. I repeat the process on the back side of the wings. To finish the wings, I use the fluff of the unused feathers to cover the top of the wings. For her outfit, I used a simple black fabric to make an equally simple black robe. I cut off some fabric to get a more used look. Last but not least, her scythe. I made it out of a stick I found in my garden and some packaging foam. I draw the scythe shape on the packaging foam and cut it out to paint it in a metallic silver color. Then. I glue it to the stick that I painted black. I hope you liked this creepy episode. There are two more Halloween specials coming up, so press that subscribe and bell button so you won't miss out on the other two. See you in the next spooky video, bye!